In this video, I'm going to talk about how to assign an IP address uh, via a DHCP server to a device. Um, in this particular case, I have a CPX FB36 module. This is an Ethernet IP module for the CPX bulb terminal. Um, and right now, it is uh, in DHCP mode. So it is expecting the device, the CPX, is expecting uh, a DHCP server to assign an IP address to it. Um, I wanted to show you the um, user manual for this uh, module. I'm going to go specifically to page 30. And uh, before explaining what it's uh, said here, I just wanted to, uh, to uh, explain that this can work with any, any uh, Ethernet device. It doesn't necessarily have to be this particular uh, CPX FE36. I mean, this can be any other Ethernet device. I'm just using this as an example. So it, anyways, let me go back to page 30. This device, it says here, um, dynamic addressing is set via DHCP or boot P by default, meaning that if I get one of these devices and I pl put, it, put it in my uh, on my network, well, either I have a PLC maybe that is assigning a DHCP or an address, an IP address via DHCP, or I can use boot P to assign an IP address to it. Um, so if I don't have that, let's say um, I just, I don't have a DHCP server, um, and I just want to assign the IP address manually, there is a way of doing that via using these deal switches in this particular device, in the CPX FV36. Um, so yeah, that's that's one way of doing it uh, manually, right? And then there's there's other ways, but anyways, I'm just gonna show you how to do it via the ACP server. So if I open this other software, which is called Festo Field Device Tool, this is the version that I'm using. Um, if I open this other software, I'm plugged in directly with an Ethernet cable right now to the to the device. I scan my network and I see IP address 0000. Um, that just it's basically telling me that it's in DHCP mode. Doesn't matter that I put an IP put an IP address here. Uh, I don't know whatever um, 36 255 255 255.0. Doesn't matter that I do that. It says that I took it but it's not gonna take it in, in reality. I, I scan it again and it's still in the ACP mode. So how do I assign an IP address to this device? I mentioned earlier, maybe if you have a router, uh, you can enable the DHCP on the router and the DHCP server and the router will automatically assign an IP address. But in this particular case, I want to do it using my computer. So there's this uh, software that's called um, TFTP, TFTP v64. So you can uh, Google it, or I'll, I'll also try to post a link to it. Uh, but basically, you run this software. So I'm going to do that now. And bring it over here. Um, so here are a couple of settings that I want to show you uh, under the DHCP tab. Here is the IP pool start address. And basically, this is saying, which is going to be the first address or the start address where, with, uh, that I'm going to be assigning through the ACP. And then you can specify how many IP addresses you, you want to assign via the ACP. So let's say that I had five devices, that will mean Ethernet devices, that will mean that one, the first device is gonna take 100, the second device 101 and so on, um, up to 104. Uh, the lease in minutes is going to be how many minutes uh, that uh, IP address uh, can can be assigned there. Um, the default router, uh, in this case, I'm using this one, the, just kind of like the gateway address, and then the mask. So I'm using uh, a class C mask. Uh, and that's that's about it. I mean, this one, the first, uh, the first um, parameter here, you could specify whatever you wanted, right? Like instead of 100, it can be 520, as I mentioned earlier. So, okay, I'm gonna click okay. So my DHCP server is running right now. Let's see here. And I can, if I go into this DHCP server tab, I see that there was um, an IP address allocated um, to, uh, an ad uh, to some device, right? So let's see that, uh, well, I'm gonna keep that here and I'm going to scan this again. And now we can see this is 101. Right, so from here I could now change the um, I could change the network uh, the IP address manually and assign a static one. 
So I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to scan again. And now this is assigned to 436. Now I can just uh, I can just close this program, and uh, and my device uh, now has a static IP address. It doesn't matter if I reset it or whatever; it, it should keep that IP address. So what I'm going to do that right now is I'm going to power it off my CPX FB36. I'm going to scan again. Of course, it's powered off; it's not going to show. I'm going to power it back on. So right now it's booting up. I see some LEDs here. All right, so it seems like I have some sort of communication on my actual device. I'm going to scan it again, and my manual IP address stays there. So uh, network, this is still set to static. Um, so that's the main use of this little TFTP V64 uh, software. It's a DHCP server that you can run in your computer to quickly set up an IP address on on a, an Ethernet uh, device. Thank you.